I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director at SpeedScreed, a multi-award winning screed solution provider. Today I'm here to talk about the BRE Drop Hammer Test, or Screed Test as it's also known. Screed use is a common construction practice. It is important to test the strength and soundness of screed. The BRE Drop Hammer Test is such a test. It was developed by the Building Research Station in the 1970s. It's still considered one of the best test methods for measuring in situ crutching resistance for various types of screed. The soundness uh, of screed is defined by the ability to withstand loads and traffic in any service area without crushing. The BRE drop hammer test is a certified method according to British standard BS 8204-1-2003 Annex D and E. Multiple factors go into determining the soundness of screed. The quality and characteristics of the screed change differently for each of these parameters. They are the level of compaction, the aggregate grading, water content in the screed, the binder contents, cement, and curing. The BRE drop hammer test has two main uh, variations that cover all types of screed. For bonded and unbonded screed, the test described in Annex D of the British Standard is followed, and for floating screed, the Annex E method is followed. As you can see, this is the screed test. While the main concept of the test is similar across the board, there are a few differences that are influenced by the screed type. For bonded and unbonded screed, the test is formed by dropping the hammer, and this is the hammer, this is the, this is the release, and then there is a little uh, level vial at the top to make sure that it's, uh, it, it, it's level. Uh, so it's dropped, measure, uh, so it's, the screed is measured before and after the test with a micrometer. The weight is four kilograms for this test and it is carried out four times in the same area and then the indentation is then measured. So we measure it before and, and after. While performing the test, there are some criteria to be followed. Uh, these are general guidelines for testing and sampling the screed. The age of the screed needs to be at least 14 days, but it may depend on the design of the screed, so that could be up to 28 days. A minimum of three tests for every 20 square meters. Random spots should be selected for testing purposes while focusing on heavy traffic areas. Don't perform tests within 300 mil of cracks, joints, or the perimeter, the edges around the screed. For floating screeds, the test method is quite similar to the previous one, but if your floating screed is laid on insulation, the regular BRE drop hammer test can punch through the insulation. The modified version of, of, this, of this screed test is described in Annex E of the British Standard. A lighter weight is used for domestic floating screed. Hence, this weight is replaced by a two kilogram weight. This weight is a, is a four kilogram weight. Now it's time to interpret the results. A fracture of the screed can be identified with the change in the sound note when the anvil hits. So when we're looking at the, the anvil hitting uh, the, the floor, that the, the note will change and you can hear that the screed has been fractured. Uh, a, a, a truncated cone is not a good sign for the screed if that happens within the first three blows. But if it only happens on the last blow, the indentation, and the indentation is within limits, the screed is considered satisfactory. 
If you are still curious about the BRE drop hammer test, feel free to contact us for more information.